how to change LaTeX font sizes. LaTeX is a typesetting software just like Word, but it creates professional quality documents such as books, reports, or research articles. First, I'm going to show you a little background and it will also demonstrate to you how you can potentially use LaTeX for creating professional quality digital products. And then we will dive into the main video. So bear with me. I am hoping that this video will help my students of LaTeX mega course because the video in the course is missing few things such as changing the font size of the whole document I forgot to mention in that video and most of the videos of LaTeX mega course are also available on my YouTube channel I think there are few playlists but if you want all those videos in one place then you can pay a small fees on my website and you can join the course so without further ado let's get started so by default latex has only three font sizes 10 point 11 point and 12 point and most of the times people want to increase the font size this is because of the popularity of large print books and large print books are popular for two main reasons one is that some people have difficulty reading small font sizes and the second reason is that it is more enjoyable to read large print books so let me first show you a sample document this is a pdf created in latex with small print while this is the same pdf created in large print and as you can see that this looks beautiful now for the purpose of this video I am using the simplest possible LaTeX document and I am assuming that you are already familiar with LaTeX if not you can watch my getting started with LaTeX tutorial but basically the most important part in a LaTeX code is the first line backslash document class is a command then we have a square bracket and a curly bracket inside square bracket we put the option for this command and inside curly bracket we put the name of the class there are four most popular classes in LaTeX and most of the LaTeX documents use any one of those four classes and I'm going to show you in a minute. Then you use various LaTeX packages and sometimes in a document there could be 20 to 25 packages but I'm using only one package use package Lipsum which is a lorem ipsum text generator which is a random text. Then you create title author and date this is my first page and this is my second page where I am using some random text to explain to you how to change the font sizes in LaTeX. Now before I explain further let me show you only one slide and this slide explains the overview of what I am going to demonstrate to you next. These are four most popular classes article, book, letter and report and by default they have only three font sizes 10 point, 11 point and 12 point. By default the size is 10 point. If you mention 11 or 12 you will get 11 or 12 point but if you mention any other point for example if you mention 20 point you will get 10 point and this is what is happening to many people they want to increase the font size from 12 point to 20 point but they get 10 point because these four classes only allow these three font sizes now in order to get some more font sizes you need to use one of these three classes text article text report and text book and if you use these classes you will get some additional font sizes 8 point and 9 point on the lower side 14 point 17 point and 20 point on the higher side so you get five extra font sizes. There was an older method of using this use package ext sizes and that also gives you the same five additional font sizes but now you don't have to use use package X sizes you simply change the name of the class and put the font size from this set of font sizes. So now the question is where to put the font size so let me show you now in this square bracket after the page size you put a comma and then you put the font size. Because there was no font size at the moment, the document on the right hand side has a font size of, yes, you guessed it, 10 point. Now if I put 12 point and before I recompile the document, let me show you the full page. So this is the full page because when I'm going to change the size, you will see that some of the text will go to the next page and it should. So let us compile by clicking on this arrow and now I click on this arrow to generate the PDF. So after the title page, as you can see that now some of the text has moved to the next page it, it means this font size is larger than the previous because it also depends on the zoom level so therefore the best way to check is that the text has moved to the next page. 
Now, if I put 20 here and recompile, again the font size has decreased because the default is being used. Now, if I want to use 20 point, I simply have to change the class name from report to ext report and recompile and generate the PDF. As you can see that the title page is also affected because this will change the font size of the whole LaTeX document. This is my first page now and as you can see that the font size has clearly increased and it looks really beautiful for creating your digital products, for your lead magnets, for children book. You cannot get this professional look in your PDFs without using LaTeX. Therefore, people try to learn LaTeX. Now, this was the way of changing LaTeX font sizes in the whole document. Now, if you want to change only a specific line of the text or a specific section of the text, then you can use one of these LaTeX commands. Now, on the left hand side is the code and on the right hand side is the output. So, if I want to get the huge size with H capital, this is the largest possible font size I can get in LaTeX. So, I simply start curly brackets and type backslash huge, which is the command. And I have intentionally put this text to show you that this is huge size, this is huge with H lowercase and so on. Simply type backslash huge and then you type your text and close the curly bracket. So, there are two huge sizes available and there are three large sizes. You can note the difference, large with all capital letters, large with L capital and large all lowercase letters. Then you have the normal size, then below normal you have small size, then the footnote size is smaller than small, then the script size and tiny size. And if I zoom it further, you can see this tiny size is really tiny and the smallest possible size available in LaTeX. Then after that, there is one additional information I wanted to put in this video is that you can also change text styling. To bold a text is a common task. You simply type backslash text bf outside the curly brackets and then you start the curly bracket and put the text. Remember in the previous commands, we were putting the command inside the curly brackets. Here we are putting the command outside the curly bracket. Then if you put text it, it will be italics. If you put text tt, then you will get this typewriter font style. So these are the three commands that we normally use to change the text styling. So I hope now you understand how to change LaTeX font sizes. So that is it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would be highly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and see you next time.